$290 profit is what we're looking at after eBay fees and the $90 cost of goods. Not bad for showing up at noon to a flea market that opens at 7 a.m. Boom, I sold 650,000 in used books on Amazon in 2015. You see that? That's fucking hustle. Reezy resells. Follow the hustle. What's up, Reezy Ninjas? I'm out here at the flea market on a Sunday at 111. I don't know if you can see that. 111. Anyways, the flea market closes at 4. So we are here incredibly late. Just taking my nephew to the flea market. He wanted to check it out. But I decided I might as well make a video and show you guys the journey to see if we can make any profit while we're here at the flea market, even though we came here like five hours after we should have been here. So basically, we're gonna see if we can catch some people slipping and still make some profit while we're here. So wish me good luck. Hit the subscribe button, smash the like, and let's get the hustle going. <laughs> How much for the crate of CDs? For the whole crate. Or for both of them? Like DVDs the and CDs. Why don't you make me an offer? 10 bucks a crate? 20 total, huh? My friend, about 25. Because I've been selling them like hotcakes for two bucks a piece. I'll take 25 and I'm happy. How long are you going to be here for? Uh, probably another hour. Okay, I'm going to walk around. Okay. My yeah, budget's yeah. limited, but I'm, yeah, I'll think about it. Come back. Yeah. Okay. This is my favorite part of the flea market. All the produce and the samples. How you doing? Good, good. How you doing? Good. For the samples today? Yeah, for sure. Thank you. These are the first two pickups of the day. Both of these for 15 bucks. Uh, a little new mark DXM 06 and a Vestax MR 100 FX multi track tape recorder. Neither of them have the power cables, so I'm not sure if they work. Dude said they powered on, but um, I'm pretty sure this one's gonna go for about a hundred, and this one should bring in at least like 25 bucks, maybe 50. We'll see. I didn't look this up and I couldn't find a comp for this one, but I found similar Vestax multi tracks and Yamaha ones, so I think this is gonna do good. So, there's two kinds of sellers at the flea market. The guy that I just saw, you don't want to buy from him. He's a regular, specialized video game, vintage toy dealer, and he prices his stuff near market value. So, there's not gonna be any meat left on the bone. The people you want to find are the people who don't come here all the time, the people that are moving and they're clearing out the house, people that are actually motivated to sell. Those are the ones you want to hit up. Also, when you're shopping at the flea market, you have to be very aware of counterfeits. Bootleg stuff is rampant in the flea markets. It's the Girl Scout Scout vest. What? You bought it? She did. Yeah. For how much? Five bucks, and that's what she wanted to spend it on. You spent all five bucks on that? Mm-hmm. Look at you didn't even have to earn all those patches. You got them already. <laughs> for the Dreamcast? 20 bucks. With the controller? With the controller. Do you have the cables for it? No, I don't. That was a pretty good pickup. Hopefully it works at $3. If it doesn't work, it's not a huge loss, but if it does work and it looks pretty clean, it's gonna sell for at least 30 to 45 bucks on eBay. How much for the swords? 40? This is what happens when you come late. People are packing up already. I just scored pretty hard, guys. I paid 50 bucks for a bunch of stuff. I got a, a lineman telephone with uh, connector cables. I got a Apple wireless Bluetooth keyboard and mouse. I got a super good uh, PS3 or PS4 DualShock controller, and I got a HP financial calculator, brand new and packaged uh, for 50 keyboard. bucks. So we just picked this up for 25 bucks. I'm not sure if it works. I don't have the power cord or anything, but we'll find out. And I think this should go for 150 bucks, at the very least 100. these 
possibly look so nice? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hey, Daddy! What? Four pop pops for a dollar. Like popper things? Yeah. Uh oh, you're they gonna be go blowing up. Grounds. You'll be blowing up people's feet, huh? Best of all, it's not one. It's four boxes. See, Daddy, let me show you. Oh my God, you got four boxes of pop pops. You're so high. Do you want huh? one? Later. I made a huge mistake, guys. Huge mistake. I made a mistake you should never make. What happened was I found an item that I wanted to purchase. I don't think I filmed it and showed you guys, but it was a Nikon item, little box with a dial on it, and I didn't know what it was at first. I started looking it up, and I found out it was a controller for a microscope. So, this thing, I couldn't find any comps on this thing, but generally, laboratory equipment goes for a good amount of money especially older vintage stuff which is not able to be attained anymore and he told me a price of 25 and then I sat there and oodled over it and looked it up and invested all this time and there's actually two listings on eBay right now for about 150 for that but there's no comps there's no solds and there's also no unsolds which is actually interesting to me because it means it might actually be worth 150 so I was prepared to pay 25 I decided on it said hey Probably deal I'll give you 25 for this and he told me nah I don't want to sell it it's my brother's blah 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 whatever he said so I screwed up because I let him know that I really wanted it and I should have kind of ignored it maybe walked away and looked it up maybe came back either way I had a chance to get it for 25 which could have flipped for 150 potentially and I screwed it up big time I made a huge mistake do not make this mistake guys when you're at the flea markets, when you're at the yard sales, where you can haggle for price and it's not firm, you need to make sure that you secure the bag before you let them know that you really want it because then they're gonna raise the price on you and you don't want that happening. You do not want to get the price raised on you. It's never a good thing. This is a Cabbage Patch Bear named Orville and I can't find any comps on this. There was a five inch mini that didn't sell recently. This is obviously not five inches. This is much, much larger, full size. I wonder if it's supposed to be like Orville Wright because he has a pilot jacket on, but I don't know guys. Maybe you know more than me. Let me know in the comments. Luna, let's go. Come on. What'd you score today, Luna? Some pop pops. No, a dog and this cute little ducky. Let me show you. Rosa Jack Luna's vest. Look at her. Rosa, you hacked your way into the Girl Scouts. I'm a winner. Ah. She's been doing it for three years. Wow. You're in your third year, babe. <laughs> this is awesome. You've been to the pajama party? I'm in my third decade. Walking back to the car to go home and drop off all of the stuff. I will break it down for you guys when we get back to the house and in later videos when it actually sells I'll show you guys that stuff too. So let's go to the house. All right. I'm back in the garage I'm gonna go through the bag of stuff that I purchased today at the flea market And I'm gonna tell you guys what I paid for it and what I think it will possibly sell for on eBay I'm not gonna look it up right now before I do it So it's gonna be rough estimates of what I think and some of that information comes from me actually looking it up earlier when I was at the flea market but for the most part, it's just gonna be a rough breakdown, what I spent, what I think it will flip for, and you guys can actually double check what I'm saying and go look it up on eBay and comment down below and let me know. First off to electronics item, I got an Olympus Pearl Quarter S702. I didn't look these up. I know the Sony ones go for good money. I'm assuming this one will go for good money too. I paid three bucks. I guarantee this will go for at least 20, maybe 30, maybe more. Could be wrong, totally. Um, next up is this Sony Car Discman, and I did look this up. There's a comp on this for $30, and I paid three bucks. I do not have the cable. Um, the one I saw that sold for 30 bucks also didn't have the cable, but I did open it up and check the battery compartment for corrosion, which is always very important. I always recommend everybody to check battery compartments. A little corrosion is easily cleanable. A lot is terrible, but this is perfectly clean. So provided this works, 30 bucks. A lot of this stuff is gonna be provided if it works because I don't know if it works yet or not. But I got some of it for pretty cheap. So for these two items, I paid 15 bucks each. 
but I'm basically gonna say I paid 15 for this and that this one was free. DXM06, uh, just some stuff that I know from DJing. This one's not actually gonna be worth too much. This might be just like 25 bucks actually. It might be worth a little more, I'm not 100% sure. The crossfader actually feels really good. I don't know what crossfader this is. It does have a sharp curve control, so that means it can be used for scratching. Three band EQ, and it has some built-in effects, some BPM function. So it might go for more than 25, but I'm just gonna say 25 on this one. Again, I don't know if it works. This is made by Vestax. They actually went out of business and they don't produce gear anymore. And this is a older multi-track recorder for cassette tapes. Okay, looks clean. Everything you need for a multi-track recording. All the knobs are here, all the sliders are here, lots of ins, lots of outs. Again, don't know if it works. Don't have the, uh, the jack thing, but it's a DC 12 volt adapter, so not a big deal. But this thing will go for 100 to 150 bucks provided it works, so that's pretty cool. The next stuff I got for a package deal. So I paid 50 bucks for this PlayStation DualShock controller. I believe this is for PlayStation 4. PlayStation 3 or PlayStation 4, I don't know. The model number is CUH-ZC-T1U, T-I-U, I don't know, I need glasses, guys. I got an Apple Magic Mouse. I got an older, but not too old, Apple Bluetooth keyboard, battery powered, not rechargeable with USB. I got this Lineman's phone jack set. This thing is really, really clean. This is Fluke Networks TS19, very good condition with the butt connector cables and the little thing for hooking on your waist. I think this thing might go for 50 to 100 bucks. Not that sure. And I got this HP 12C financial calculator, brand new. The package is a little damaged, so I wouldn't be selling this on Amazon. All this stuff's probably gonna get sold on eBay. But this is gonna go for 50 bucks for sure, at least 50 bucks. Very popular financial calculator for people that work in accounting or businesses that involve a lot of money, uh, mortgage, realtors, all that stuff. Very popular calculator they've been using for a long time. That's the $50 package right there. One, two, three, four, five items for 50 bucks. So if you wanna be easy about it, you could say I paid $10 each. And I think this is gonna go for 50. I think this is gonna go for 75, which it puts it at 125. I think this is gonna go for about 30 bucks, which puts it at 155. I think this is gonna go for 20 to 30, which puts us at 175. And I think this will go for 20 to 35 bucks as well, which puts us at 195. All said and done, in for 50 and gonna make about $200 gross sales on eBay with that. Plus the $15 that I paid for these two and this should go for 100, so that's about 300. I think this thing will go for about 25 bucks. So that's 325 plus that. 355 plus that 365 375 and then one of the coolest things that i got today which i also don't know if it works is a digitech control one effects foot pedal for guitars these are switches there's the pedal to control the wet and dry mix this thing could go for 100 to 150 also and i paid 25 for this so all in all we're looking at 100 200 with these five things 300 400 430, 450, 475. So the total spent on these items today at the flea market, and I showed up very late, which means I could have got a lot more stuff, was $90. And the expected gross sales on eBay, gross, is $475. So if this stuff does sell, 80% of 475 or so is gonna be what I take home, minus the $90 would be profit. So $290 profit is what we're looking at after eBay fees and the $90 cost of goods. Not bad for showing up at noon to a flea market that opens at 7 a.m. Also, Rosa grabbed a couple pieces of clothing. She grabbed some pretty colorful LuLaRoe leggings, paid $3 for these, and a pretty rad free people button-up vest situation here. I don't know, I wanna say this is kind of paisley with the pinks and the oranges on it, I don't know. I expect this free people vest thing to go for at least 20, 25 bucks, maybe more, didn't look it up. These LuLaRoe leggings don't really do that well for us. This pattern is pretty cool, so maybe these will go for 20. I'm gonna say more like 15. So 15 for the LuLaRoe leggings 
and we'll say 25 for this knit free people vest, which adds 40 to it. So our new revised total profit is about $330 for $96 spent. And that's profit after eBay fees, after taking the $96 out that we spent. If you guys wanna see another video where I killed it at the flea market, click up here to check out that video. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you aren't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Press down there, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace!